What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another market update for the Vintage Collection. And we've got lots of really nice items to go through. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys allow me to make more and better videos, and you guys also get access to my videos 24 hours early. My Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader sh uh, shares all the details as to how to join up for as little as $1 a month. Let's go ahead and dig into some awesome TVC. This is probably the best one of the bunch, and I, I wish I had seen this, although I'm glad I didn't, because as you guys know, I'm trying to not buy anything. But this was a really nice Canadian error offer sticker for Dengar. And as you can see here, it's got that Baba Fett offer sticker with the typo. And uh, this is one I do have in my collection for Boba Fett that was kindly sent to me by James M., who is a channel watcher and just a great guy. And uh, this this Dangar is nice, though. It, it did have uh, a little bit of wear around the hang tab there, but give me a break. These Canadian error stickers tend to go for big money. You can see some edge wear down here at the bottom. So probably like an overall 80 grade would be my guess. But uh, that one did sell. This was over in Denmark, of all places, even though it was a Canadian Dangar. Uh, it sold for 125 euros, which is about $123 U.S. plus shipping. Uh, but I thought that was a great buy, whoever picked that one up. It's really tough to find those Canadian Air Baba Fett uh, offer stickers. So next up, we've got a VC09 foil example of Boba Fett with the rocket firing Fett offer. And this one did have a little bit of wear, as you can see on the back of the card. Uh, it had kind of a, a wear below the proof of purchase and some nice edge wear all the way around the side of the card. So again, probably like an 80, 80 plus condition, maybe an 85 if the grader is feeling generous. But uh, this is a really nice Ultimate Galactic Hunt chase card. That one sold for $160 and change with free shipping. I thought that was pretty fair just given the condition issues on that one. Uh, next up, we had a General Grievous. This one was the retail version, the non-foil example. It was punched. Uh, overall, decent shape, but uh, the price was held down for the same issue with some edge wear on the back of the card. But uh, that price I thought was very fair. It sold for $66 plus $14.75 shipping. I still think the best deal that we've seen on a punched example of VC-17 General Grievous was about a, a couple weeks ago. It was punched, but it was in excellent condition, like near mint plus, I think. And uh, that one sold for about 90 bucks. I thought that was a really good deal. So this is uh, this sold for a little bit less after accounting for shipping, uh, but you know it also did have quite a bit more edge wear on the bottom on the back of the card back. Uh, this was a really nice example of the U.S. card for Commander Gree. This one is definitely on my short list uh, when and if I ever start picking up some of these TVC 1.0. But that is an awesome card and is unpunched. Pretty great shape overall, just some very light edge wear. Here's the back of the card. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, really clean, really clean. This is 85 plus condition all day long. And uh, that one sold in an auction for big money, $155.50. Plus five ninety five shipping, so about one hundred and sixty bucks took home that really clean U.S. card for Commander Gree. Uh, we had a Kathaba that also sold. This was an unpunched example on the U.S. card with the brown bandana. Very rarely see the red bandanas over here in the U.S. side for eBay, uh, but that one sold for one forty three fifty on twenty eight bids, uh, plus five ninety five shipping. I thought that was a pretty fair price, just given how clean this one was, but. Uh, Tough to find that red bandana over here. I, I know you guys in the UK tend to get those pretty easily, but VC56 with the red bandana on the US card uh, over here in the US just does not show up very often. But uh, at least you got another data point for Kathaba with the brown bandana for those of you still looking for him. Uh, next up, we had another VC64 Princess Leia in her slave outfit. This one was a punched example. It looked like it's hard to tell because it was still inside the uh, clamshell here, but you can see just some slight edge wear at the bottom below the visit starwars.hasbro.com. Uh, but overall, pretty clean. I think there was might have been a little bit of wear around the hang tab, but it's hard to tell again. So rolling the dice just a little bit on this one. Uh, this one did have the paperwork inside the blister, but no offer sticker on the front. So this was the Return of the Jedi card back, but Again, you know, either the sticker was removed or it was just missed during uh, the, the factory production process. And we do see that happen sometimes. But uh, anyway, that one was listed for $299.99 with free shipping. And the best offer that was accepted was $250 U.S. dollars. So another data point for those of you looking for VC64 
Um, it's kind of holding steady. I haven't really seen it move much in price here lately. Uh, next up, we had the European release, uh, the original release for VC101 Shea Vizsla. As you can see on the back of the card, it's got that multi-language warning sticker on the back of the card. So you do know it's the European release, as well as those stickers in the upper left and upper right on the front of the card. Look pretty clean overall, though, and that sold for 90 pounds, 103 US dollars plus shipping. That's that's a really good deal, uh, just given uh, you know that for a while there before the reissue was announced and actually reissued, uh, this would go for quite a bit more. This one too has the offer in uh, offer paperwork or the warning paperwork inside, but I guess that might be more common with some of these European releases. Uh, but no offer sticker on the front of that card either. But 90 pounds took that one home, 103 US dollars. And then I also have some mint and sealed box vehicles that all sold here recently. This one was kind of like 80-ish condition. It did have just some slight uh, rubbing on the front of the box. But this is the Toys R Us uh, exclusive X-Wing Fighter in that original TVC packaging. That one sold for $146.97 with free shipping. I thought that price was pretty fair. And then we had the Kmart exclusive Scout Walker ATST. That one sold for $85.00. Uh, with free shipping but again it did have a little bit of wear you can see in the upper right hand corner it did have a kind of a crunch there by the ages four and up uh some slight edge wear here and there but uh you know again probably overall 80 ish condition uh, we had a tie interceptor that looked to be very clean mint and sealed box that one sold for big money 245 dollars free shipping but the box itself was pretty much immaculate just given the age of this thing i mean this is going on what probably 10 or 12 years old now. So uh, to get one in that cleaning condition, uh, $245 again took home that tie interceptor. Uh, next up, this was a big, big price. This was the Empire Strikes Back packaging for the AT-AT Walker. And again, mint and seal box, Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, it did have one slight ding, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner on the back, but overall very clean, probably 85 or 80 plus condition. Uh, that one sold for $998 plus $53 shipping. So that is a, a big number and uh, certainly a little bit higher than we've seen lately. But it, in all fairness, it was uh, a, a really nice example. And I, I love the packaging on this one. I tend to like the packaging on this one much better than the Return of the Jedi version. But uh, that just looks fantastic. Uh, next up, another one of those 30th uh, anniversary kind of exclusive two packs with Forlom and Zuckus with the foil card backs. We've seen a number of these sell here recently. And this one sold for 130 free shipping. That's a little bit lower than where we've seen this one sell here. Uh, this one had sold, you know, it got up to almost $200. So 130 I think, free shipping was a pretty good buy for that one. Uh, next up, we had Jar Jar Binks in Carbonite. And this one was listed for $550. And I had this in my What to Buy video. Uh, earlier this week or last week and uh, it sold very quickly after it went live but $550 was the list price the best offer that was accepted was $450 so pretty good pretty good price on that Jar Jar Binks it's it's one of those items that's just tough to find it did have some edge wear on the bottom right hand corner as you can see but overall I would say it's what probably like an 85 80 plus condition at worst and uh, just looks really nice and one of the few holy grails within the vintage collection line. So 450 bucks. I mean, I've seen those graded sell for $1,000 plus. So uh, great pickup, whoever was able to get that one. I'm assuming it was a channel watcher because it sold very quickly after that went live. But congratulations, whoever got that one. Next up, we got the Lost Line version of Darth Vader Emperor's Wrath. That one sold for 149 euros or about 147 US dollars plus shipping, and this one did have the multiple language warning sticker on the back that denotes this was released over in Europe, but uh, don't see these sell for that big of money usually, but uh, it looks awfully nice with that uh, that picture of Vader there in the lower right-hand corner. So uh, very cool item, and again, that sold for 150 euros or about 147 US dollars. And then I've, it's funny, I've got two different examples where they sold, the, the sellers had the Imperial Assault Tank Driver and the Imperial Assault Tank Commander being sold together. And uh, two examples here. So the first one uh, sold in an auction up in Canada for 195 Canadian dollars or about 142 US dollars. The cards were not perfect by any means. The Assault Tank Driver had some wear around the hang tab. Looks like a very soft vein on the left-hand side of the card. And then the, the Imperial Assault Tank Commander also just had some general edge wear 
uh, all the way around the card. So these were probably at best, you know, 80-ish 80, 80 condition. So that's that sale. And then this one also did sell in an auction as well. Uh, same items, different seller. And uh, this one sold for $178 on 28 bids plus $15 shipping. Uh, so just a couple of data points again for those of you looking for those very hard to find VC 2.0s. They just tend to command pretty good money, and it seems like sixty to eighty dollars a piece is about the going rate right now. Uh, next up, I got some graded items. Uh, a few graded items sold within the vintage collection, which doesn't happen that often, really. I mean, I expected to see more and more vintage collection get graded uh, and sell on eBay, but it just hasn't happened. I, I don't know why. It just seems like most people don't don't want to get these graded. But this is the uh, Dr. Afra VC-129, and obviously this is not the European exclusive version that is missing the warning label above Luke and Leia on the front right-hand side of the card. That's a very, very expensive item, and I've had a couple of you guys reach out about that one. Uh, but yeah, it goes for big money. I've seen as high as six, $700. I've seen even higher than that potentially. But this one was graded 8.5 on the modern scale, and uh, that one sold for $120 free shipping. So there's a data point there for those of you who love Dr. Afra like I do. Uh, next up, we had the Clone Wars 50th Anniversary Walmart Exclusive Art Trooper Captain. This one was graded 9.0 on the modern scale by AFA. That one sold for $120 free shipping. So a uh, really nice card back. I, I, I just showed you guys my recent returns from uh, Collector Archive Services with that entire wave of figures, and uh, they really do look great. I, 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 love, I love that card art so much. Uh, next up, this was a fairly low grade, but I was surprised by that final sales price. Jocasta New is graded 8.0 on the modern scale, uncirculated grade. So someone sent in that entire box, and that's being included in the sale, the Brian Toys exclusive. Uh, but again, it was graded 8.0, uncirculated, so not a particularly high grade, unpunched. But it still sold for $202. Think about how far Jocasta New has come over the last year or so. I mean, for the longest time, you could pick this up for 50 to 60 bucks uh, inside the Brian's Toys still sealed box. And, and now, you, you know, to, to get a, a, a low graded version, I consider an 8.0 fairly low for a modern item, uh, $202. So it's, it's more than doubled in price. Uh, again, you know, there is grading costs associated with this, but it is only an 8.0. But $202, that, that was a really surprising number. Uh, next up, we had another Ahsoka Tano Mandalore, graded uncirculated 9.0. And uh, I'm surprised at how low these are selling. Uh, you know, you think anything Ahsoka would command some decent money, but the, this seller has them available. He sold 10. He still has seven available. They're uncirculated 9.0, so gold label, AFA. And they're only $85 plus $10.20 shipping, so let's call that $95. Bucks. I mean, it costs $55 plus shipping to and from AFA for this item, and that's not even including the actual cost of the Ahsoka Tano. So uh, $95 shipped uh, for, for this item I think is a great deal for an uncirculated 9.0. Uh, and 10 of them have sold, but he still has 7 of them available. Uh, but another one did sell here recently. Next up, this was an interesting one. This one is Princess Leia Organa from Yavin, the Yavin Ceremony, but this is the error card. This is the VC-164 version, as it's labeled by AFA, and that's the error. Uh, this is supposed to be VC-150, but VC-164 is Cara Dune, but some of these Princess Leia Yavins made it out the door with the incorrect VC-164 label on the back of the card back, as you see here. So this is one I do have in my collection, graded CAS-90. Uh, but anyway, this was graded 9.0 on the modern scale, and it sold for $175. And that's actually a little low, if you ask me. Um, there was a recent one that was CAS 90 grade that sold for $250. So I think this was actually a really fair deal for a 9.0 grade AFA example for $175 free shipping. So goodbye, whoever got that one. Uh, next up, we got yet another VC211 Ma Mandalorian and Grogu from Maldo Crease. And this is the Walmart exclusive Graded 9.0 on the modern scale. That one sold for $150. We just documented an 8.5 graded one that sold for $126. So this higher graded example only went for about $25 more. And again, it's a Walmart exclusive. It's tough to get those in a 9.0 grade. So I think this was a great buy. I, I, me personally, there's no way I'd sell my CAS 90 version of this Maldo Crease 2-pack uh, for $150. Bucks. I just consider it to be worth more than that just given that they're Walmart exclusives, tough to get in high grade. But I think $150 free shipping was a steal of a deal for that one. 
Anyway, that's all I really had for this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at some recent sales within the vintage collection. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and I'll be back soon.